to check that gear in a minute, so don't touch anything, okay? that control by accident. You'd be mincemeat by now. What have I told you? You don't work on equipment when the engine's running. Well, I told him not to touch anything. All right, I guess I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking? You mean you'll work on engines and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? Here, shake hands with danger. Shake hands with danger. Need a guy who ought to know. I used to laugh at safety. Now they call me Three Finger Joe. Shake hands with danger. Find it anywhere you choose. Be careless for a moment. Spend a lifetime with the blues. Earth-moving machines are designed for safety, but they're big enough to hide a man. You hurt, fella. Just about dead. You could have killed me. This mechanic is lucky he's able to complain. He should have protected himself by removing the key and putting a do-not-operate tag on the controls. Anytime you pick up a wrench, reach for a control, use a grease gun, grab a welding torch, or work on any machine, while forgetting safety, you're shaking hands with danger. All right? Okay. Okay. All right, now you take the loader up behind the hill where they're working. Now I'll drive up on the road and I'll meet you at the top, all right? Okay, uh, but you know, Cliff, I never operated this model before. Well, all right, all I have to do is back it up and then let it down nice and easy like. You, you want me to do it? Uh, I can handle There's no sweat there. We can, we can take care of okay. it. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. this man didn't know was that the operator had left the lift lever in the raised position so the arms would rise automatically when the engine started. The qualified operator would have known better. The man shouldn't have tried to perform as an operator when he wasn't one. Well, you were kidding when you said you didn't know how to run that thing. Chuck Hamlin is no beginner. Before he begins changing an O-ring on an excavator boom, he checks. Oil temperature down, engine off, bucket grounded, hydraulic lock engaged. Okay, he'll have that O-ring installed in minutes.
take a chance that you won't fall. You'll save yourself a minute, but you may damn well lose it all. Wherever possible, the stick should be extended and the boom lowered so the work can be done at ground level. Finding that impossible, the next man used the service truck as a safe work platform. Climbing with tools can create a hazard. Use the steps and the grab irons. Keep at least three points of contact, two feet and one hand unencumbered. Any shortcuts and you're inviting injury. In fact, taking shortcuts is often a quick road to trouble. For example, consider what happened to Harry Sanders. Harry has come to work with a problem. His son is having a football injured knee operated on this morning. Harry wants to finish this job and take a couple hours off to visit his son. The operator has complained that the scraper is shifting too slow and the controls are sluggish. In a hurry, Harry pulls only one axle. The service manual says to pull both axles and disconnect steering. But Harry knows with one axle removed and the differential unlocked, the machine shouldn't move. He's taken this shortcut before. While waiting for the operator to return, Harry starts the machine in order to judge the problem. While he waits for the engine to warm, Harry's thoughts drift to worries about his son. The accelerator feels stiff, so then he checks the feel of the service brakes. His attention is divided. While thinking about his son, his hands and feet go through motions he believes have become automatic. In this absent-minded state, he unconsciously starts to steer, jams his foot on the differential lock, and the machine takes off. Lucky for the stunned operator, the machine stops itself. Harry is only bruised, but in a crowded area, he could have killed someone because he ignored safe procedure to save a few minutes' work. Now, most people have days when they come to work with worries, hangovers, or distractions. Those are times for being doubly cautious. When the body's on the job, but the mind is elsewhere, it's danger time. Glenn Greenwood was victim of another kind of mental hazard, ego. How you doing, hot shot? Uh, it's stuck in there tight. Did you get that pin driver? No, but I got this drift. Just give it a whack. Glenn knows the risk of striking hard against badly chipped metal, but he's wearing safety glasses, and there's a macho thing involved here. Glenn doesn't want his friend to sneer at him for being overly cautious. So, Glenn shakes hands with danger. Maybe his friend would have laughed if Glenn had insisted upon playing it safe. But he sure as hell isn't laughing now. With tools, the time to make sure you have a safe ending is before you start using them. They should be the right tools for the job and in safe condition. If Glenn's friend had ground off that mushroomed face, taking care of the tools he uses, he could have prevented that accident. Some old timers think accidents happen only to greenhorns. Hey, Red. I got a Brackle. You want to come take a look at it? Let them learn the hard way, they say. Now, let them learn the hard way can be an attitude that results in serious injury. 
Look, sorry about that. One word of caution from the old timer would have saved a lot of pain and lost work time. And even the old timer can lapse into carelessness. The safety gap is correct when he starts, but he doesn't think about how much he's grinding down the wheel. He gets by with it on that longer piece. Shake hands with danger, step right up and say hello. Grinding wheels and metal are what made Three Finger Joe. Fingers aren't the only things to think about when working with track. A near miss due to the mechanic's failure to restrain the track before he unloosened it at a high point. Here, they're about to push a high sprocketed machine from an old set of tracks onto a new set. With both tracks removed, the machine is free to roll. On a slight grade, it may just take off. had an operator in the machine, he could have stopped it by dropping the ripper or blade. Now, they should have planned proper blocking and restraint, but better still, they should change one track at a time. Then there can't be a roll away. Hurry and failure to heed safety warnings can also endanger those doing routine maintenance. Despite constant warnings about hot oil and pressure systems, some optimist always thinks he can get his hand away in time. Oh, God! Oh, gee! Hot! Oh, oh dear. God, somebody help me! Needn't have happened. The temperature gauges, pressure gauges, and the safety caps on cooling systems are there to prevent accidents from occurring. <laughs> 